Hi, it's Jerry, and it's that time. Yes, it's time to clean out the black tank. Now, I'm not talking about just dumping it. I'm talking about a good, thorough scrub. Well, Jerry, how in the world are you going to do that? Well, here's what happens with these black tanks. Uh, we've been using ours. I haven't cleaned it out for over 18 months. I made a good scrub. Sure, we've dumped it. Um, yeah, we've got one of these built-in little sprinkle systems that, you know, kind of washes it out but it really doesn't do a super super great job and then all of a sudden your sensors start misreading you'll dump your tank and you'll see that it's half full or three quarters full or even worse it's completely full and you know it's not because you've dumped your tank so what do you do the other thing that happens with these as well is that you're just going to get gunk build up i don't care what you do you can do the ice cube tricks you can put calgon and water softener and all those types of things in and ride around with a couple gallons of water in it but you're still going to get a gunk build up it's just the natural thing that's going to happen with these black tanks well it's not really that big of a deal yeah some people get a little carried away when they think they have to deal with this but i'm not one of those <laughs> yeah you're not going to see me do that that's just a little bit uh maybe too much <laughs> But um, there's a couple devices that you can use. I've seen homemade devices. You can go out on some of these YouTube channels and see devices that you can use that are homemade that work really, really well. Um, this little unit here, I'm gonna put uh, down in the show notes. This thing is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna show you, hooking this up to a water hose, what it does, but just a couple things about it. Uh, it's, uh, one of the things that's important, you're gonna have to run your water hose inside your camper. Uh, and when you do that, um, somebody, is, and I'm gonna be doing this by myself today, uh, Joan's out doing some other things. You need an on and off valve, that's very, very important. This is springy, as you'll notice. So if you've got a hook or a bend as you go down in your toilet, some of that will happen. Sometimes you'll have a slight elbow and you can't get a straight unit. I can take this in and kind of fish it around. I'll back up here a little bit. You know, I can take it and fish it around and lift it up and down. But here's what's really incredible about this, if you'll notice, and I'll let the camera focus in on this real quick. Uh, this has got a revolving brass head on it and you can see the little holes on it and if you've got a little bit of water pressure this thing is a scrubber let me show you what this thing looks like I'll stand out here and turn on the water hose on the outside just to show you the intensity of what this thing does <laughs> I'm inside the RV now I'm in the our bathroom I'm uh, going to actually film me using that unit uh, and scrubbing out the black tank. I'll leave the sound on so you can hear the screams. No, hopefully there won't be any of those. But I do want to talk to you a second about keeping a healthy black tank. Um, there are things that you should do and you should not do. And there are things that you can put in your black tank and there are things that you should not put in your black tank. So you... In my opinion, you should never put in a Clorox product because that has a tendency on those seals that are around your dump. Uh, it can rot those out and then you're going to end up with a drippy black tank. Ugh, I can't even imagine having a drippy black tank. That would be bad. So I never use anything like that. Um, also, the type of toilet paper that you use. Look, I'm sure I'm going to get a ton of comments on this but uh, I don't use a toilet paper that is not considered RV or marine safe. Um, I know a lot of people go to Walmart and buy the single ply. Look, if that works for you, that's fantastic. But I've had some bad experiences. I've tried it and I ended up with what they refer to as a poo dam. In other words, when I went to dump it, the paper did not um, break down quick enough and then it got stuck at the end and there are some tricks that you can do to unstick that stick that poo dam and it is a mess and it's nasty and i'm not going to ever film that i just that's just one thing you know, leave some comments and i'll share with you how you do it but i hope i never have to face it again and uh, I, I i'll never, I'll never film that removing a poo dam I, this is what we use. This is what Joan and I use. This is a, a Scott's a Rapid Dissolving RV and Boat uh, paper. We buy this off of Amazon. Um, it's septic sa safe. It's four rolls. We buy a case at a time. It lasts us a long time. It's double ply uh, for those of us 
um, who may have sensitive backsides. Um, this is a really nice, comfortable paper. Um, I put it in the class of something like a Charmin or something like that. It has that kind of a feel to it. Um, I should give you a demonstration and show you. You can take a sheet of it and drop it in a glass of water and shake it a couple times and it completely breaks down. But it doesn't do that until it hits the water and it's been agitated a little bit. When we use this in our tank, we never have a problem. And we've been using it now over two years and um, it has served us incredibly well. So I'll put a link in there uh, where you can buy this um, and I'll use, uh, we, like I said, we buy a case of it. Um, it's in the mid $30 range and the prices change a couple dollars from time to time depending on demand. This stuff is wonderful. Um, the other thing is what do you do as far as keeping the odor down? Sure, you've got the green stuff, you've got the blue stuff, you got the orange stuff. I don't like them. Um, they have this um, perfumey smell and that just doesn't work with me. It's, uh, it just overcomes the camper. Um, I don't know that it hides the black tank smell um, as, or, or mask it as much as combine with it. So you get a bit of a black tank odor when you flush and then you get that, ooh, that perfumey purple bluey stuff that comes up. What I have found is if you use uh, an enzyme type tank treatment, then that will work much better. We've used this, we stayed in Florida for two months in one stationary location and it was hot as blue blazes when we left. It was coming up as the 1st of July when we left this year. We used this all through May, all through June. No problem whatsoever. Um, what these enzymes do is it breaks down all the particles, literally the solid waste that you put in there, it liquefies those and any paper, especially if you use the marine grade, uh, you, you'll see in the show notes this um, kind of a clear elbow that I use when I break the uh, dump the black tank and that clear elbow you can you know monitor the solids and make sure you're getting your tank clean and all those types of things if you want to watch stuff like that it's not that terribly gross but when you use these enzyme style tank supplements uh, then uh, it liquefies. It is just nothing but just a dark liquid that comes out of your black tank. And that is a great thing. If you're getting chunks of paper and things like that, then you could have a possible problem. Here's what we use. <clears throat> and we use the 130 serving. It's cheaper this way. This is called Happy Camper. Um, I heard about this on another blog about, again, about two years ago. We'd been using the blue stuff and just complaining like crazy. And this is just an enzyme. And you, you take this um, and I'll see if I can do this. Uh, it's just a white powder and you put this little scoop in. It's just a white powder you can see. Very fine grade. Has no odor to it, no scent. Again, it's called um, Happy Camper. Odor free. And I, honestly, it just breaks down everything in the um, black tank. Uh, we take and put a scoop of this about once or twice a week in the kitchen sink as well where you get food particles that go down inside your gray tank and what it will do is it will help liquefy those as you go to, uh, go to uh, dump that tank, gets rid of that odor. Um, if you've ever had the dreaded food gnat break out to where you're in a hot climate and you had um, a, a gray tank with a lot of particles in it, uh, food particles, you know, those types of things. And it's almost impossible not to grease. It's almost impossible not to do that. Uh, even if you use strainers and things like that, you're still going to get some things inside that tank. This holding tank treatment, the Happy Camper will break that down, liquefy it, and get it out as well. But if you use a good quality marine grade, RV grade uh, paper, again, this the Scots has served Joan and I incredibly well. Uh, Joan's very particular about her tissue paper, very, very particular, and she's happy with it, so it's passed the Joan test. <laughs> and then this Happy Camper has passed the Jerry test. Uh, I don't like those perfumey smells. And if you break that black tank down um, and you've got those enzymes in there breaking all those particles down, then you don't end up with that horrible, oh, that odor that comes up and knocks you out. Even in the higher cl uh, uh, the climates, the higher, hotter climates. Uh, we were up in uh, Virginia and the uh, and, and up in Asheville. You've probably seen the blogs of those uh, back in January and February of this year. 
No, it, it was freezing. And I mean, you know, water hoses froze, uh, the kitchen froze one night. We're using the Happy Camper even in those very frigid environments. It still works. Still works. Works in the hot, works in the cold, breaks everything down, makes everything work great. Okay, enough of that. So let's get the magic wand and let's clean out the black tank. Make sure you have your black tank valve open outside and you're hooked up to, you know, either, you know, if you're at home to a blue boy, if you have something like that, or if you're in the campground, you're hooked up to the, um, the, the dump that you have next to your unit as well. Turn off the water. Um, you don't want to have the toilet spewing and carrying on while you do this, because what you've got to do is <clears throat> open up the tank. I'm not going to show you a picture of it. You're gonna take this unit and you're gonna feed it down inside of it. And then here we go. Well, that was all it was to it. It took me probably, I'm guessing, maybe a good 10 minutes to give a good scrub. Um, and our toilet here, as we go down into the black tank, we did have that turn, that bend. So if I were to use one of those straight units that you see um, on the websites, Amazon, Camping World, etc., uh, that would not have worked in my situation. I would not have been able to get down into the bottom of that tank and give it a good scrub. The results were perfect. I kept reading three-fourths of a full tank, even at, a, uh, even at empty, when I knew it was good and well empty. Look at this now. How about that? So now that's a little scrubbing, 10 minutes of work. Um, pulling the hose around took me about an extra five or six minutes, less than, less than 30 minutes to be able to do this. Gave me a good sparkly clean black tank with all the residue. Um, I ran some more water through it. I didn't put that on the video here. Just ran some water through it, looked through that little clear uh, connection and everything is coming out nice and clean. So after two years of gunking up this thing, Perfect. So again, this is Jerry. I love RV life, even when I have to clean out this black tank. Can you imagine that? <laughs>